Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ijoma Fab. So today I'll be showing you how to make and attach a detailed structure boning, just like the one you see on the screen. So these are the tools we'll be working with. So I have my fabric here. This is a bridal satin. So you can use any fabric of your choice to make yours. And I have my ready line boning here. So this is a plastic swayable boning. So to start off, you need to determine the length of the structure you want to work with and the amount, which is how many pieces you want to work with. So for this tutorial, I'll be working with just two structures. So there are two ways you can achieve this. So the first method, you can fold or wrap your fabric around this regiline boning and stitch on it. Then the second method is that which you will make use of a casing, which is what I'm about to show you. First of all, you need to determine the length of structure or boning you want to work with. So I'll be working with 10 inches and 14 inches. So this is a half inch ready line boning here. So the casing I'll be working with will be one and a half inches so that when I fold it, I will have allowance to sew up my casing and also to fit the boning into it. So for the first one, I'm going to cut out 10 inches. So this is where my 10 inches stop. I'll be cutting out this one. The next one is going to be 14 inches long. So this is where I have my 14 inches. I'm going to cut it here. So after cutting out, this is what I have as my boning. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut the fabric which I'll be using for the casing. But for the casing, I wouldn't be cutting this exact boning measurement. So I will need to add allowance on this casing for the boning. So I have to add one inch on this end and one inch on this end. I'll be doing the same thing to this other one. So if you have five, six, seven bonings, you have to add allowances to each of them. So the allowance is what we are going to use to fold it together and also join it to our garment. So for the small piece, I'm going to cut out 12 inches. So that is 10 inches for the boning and 2 inches for the allowance. So that will be 12 inches. So because my fabric is on fold, I'm going to cut out, so that will be 6 inches. When I open it up, it will give me 12 inches. So this way, I'm going to mark one and a half inches. So this is going to be the width of the casing. So I also went ahead to cut the other one, which is the longer one. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take it to my machine and fold it this way into two halves and sew up with quarter of an inch. I'll be doing the same thing to this one too. I'll fold it this way and sew up with quarter of an inch. So after sewing, this is how they look like. So the next thing to do is to turn it to the right side. So you can make use of your needle and thread to turn it to the right side or you make use of your safety pin to turn it to the right side so whichever one you're comfortable with so i'm going to make use of the safety pin to turn it to the right side so i'm just going to go this way and like this So after turning, this is how it's going to look like. It's going to look rough like this. So the next thing you have to do now is to get your pressing iron and give it a good press so that it looks flat and nice. So after ironing, this is how it looks like. Then the next thing to do now is to introduce the boning. So I'll pick up the shorter one and the shorter casing. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to insert it this way. So you just carefully insert it. So you can see that this is not tight. It's not so tight. So it can go in freely. So when it's sewn so tight, you will have to struggle to put this boning into it. So after fixing it into it, you can see I have allowance here. So I'm just going to make it equal so that the allowances will be equal. So for the bigger one, I'll also 
pick it up this way and insert it into the casing just like this so you can see that the flow is very free this is very important because if you have it tight you'll be struggling to pass into the casing so also make sure that the allowance at the end here is equal so this is how it's going to be just this way so you can also decide to beautify or design this to your choice you can place your stones on this or you can also make use of your trimming so I have something like this here you just place your gum on it and place it this way just to beautify it so you can see how it looks like so you'll be doing the same thing to other panels so the next thing I'm going to do now is to introduce my needle and thread so I'm going to take the needle and thread this way and fold this way so I'll be sewing on this allowance here and not on the boning so I'm going to take it this way close to the boning and stitch so you carefully stitch this making sure you don't stitch on the boning but on the allowance and you cut out so for this I'm just going to take it this way place it together and this is how it looks like and I also stitch on the allowance joining it together with my needle and thread So after doing this, you can decide to design it in different ways. So to attach it on the garment you'll be working with, um, let's say for instance, on this dress, let's say we are placing it here. So you're going to carefully place it this way. And you're going to introduce your needle and thread again. You're going to gently tap this on the clothes. So when you tap this, the next thing you have to do is to cover up this place, this finishing. So you can make use of your applique or your trimming, something like this, but not so big like this. Just any trimmings of your choice, just to cover it to look nice, just like this. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to someone. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.